Ah. Uh, the day is just starting, and already I'm beat. How is that even possible? That's true. We need to find more coffee. I can't possibly have scavenged it all already. Ha <laughs> you're funny. I don't drink that much coffee. Besides, you're drinking it too. Maybe you can help me find some one of these days. No, I'm kidding. I'd rather you be working on this interface. How's it coming? Any luck talking to the bugs? Nanites, bugs, whatever. You know what I meant. Yeah? That sounds promising. Of course, I'll bring however much power it takes. I'll scavenge anything that has even the slightest bit of juice left in it, if it means getting this plan going. Well, no, of course not. Sometimes we have to take risks to get what we need. It's not like it's a pretty green park out there. This place is a pile of junk, on top of another pile of junk. But you know me, I'm careful. Yes, I am. I'm always careful. And if I still manage to get hurt, I have you to patch me up. Don't know what I'd do without you. Aww, don't say that. You know I need you. Yes, I do. Okay, all kidding aside, I probably don't thank you enough. Eh, not just that. I mean, your skills are invaluable. You've gotten so many things working around here the past few months, and you've gotten the ship fired up. That part, I can't explain how exciting that is. You've given me real hope that leaving here is possible. After all this time, I have real, actual hope. There's a difference between hope and optimism. I'll grant you that I have a pretty bright outlook. I try to see the good in things. I try to find reasons to smile. And while me and Spanner have been carving out our existence here, I've done my best to make the best of it. But that's not the same thing as hope. I haven't actually had much of that in a while. I mean, I've had little hopes, like I hope I find more coffee today, or I hope I find a power cell so I can keep a light on after dark. But when it comes to hoping that leaving the planet is possible, I haven't really had a lot of that. I haven't really had much reason to. And then you come along, and now... Yeah. But that's not the only thing I want to thank you for. You've been really good company, too. Yes, you have. I mean, you have your crabby moments, you get annoying sometimes, but who doesn't? I know I can be a pain to be in the same room with sometimes, too. Oh, yes, I can. Don't deny it. That's fine. Most of the time, I'm not too bad. And most of the time, you're really great to have around. You make me laugh. You give me someone to talk to besides the cat. No offense to Spanner. <laughs> I mean it, though. Thanks. You don't know how hard it is to find people who are... good, I guess? Yeah, I know that's a broad word, but... I've known a lot of less than good people in my life. I'm glad you don't fall into that category. I mean, you don't, right? You're not just pretending to be a decent person, are you? Well, I guess I'd have no way to know if you were lying. So I'll just take you at face value. Too much work to do much else. All right then, how can I help you with this? You sure? All right. Sounds like you're making progress. I'll focus on the power. Hey, I have a question about the bugs. The nanites. Can they... evolve? I know you said they're not sentient, but aren't they capable of learning? Can they learn to think for themselves? I mean, maybe not now, but eventually? No, I figured, but... Even as a theory, you must have some idea. The research might have included some speculation. I know you. You must be fascinated by the possibilities. And believe me, I don't blame you. I just want to know what those possibilities are. 
Okay, fine, no speculating. You just keep working on interfacing with them. How are you going to test it? Are you going to give them a little task or something? See if they can do it? Okay. Just be sure they go back to their holder and stay dormant afterwards. I know, I know. They just make me a little unsettled. Well, can you blame me? I felt like Locutus of Borg there for a while. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fine, I'll leave you to it. What was that? Is it working? Did you get it working? Hey, look at that! That is amazing! You did it! Oh, wow. I am equal parts psyched and nervous right now. <laughs> okay, so can you communicate with them directly? Give them an order or something? No, I get that. I need to get more power. I just wasn't sure if there was something you could do now to make sure it's working. Yeah, I see that. Status normal, nanites ready. Wow. You've managed to put yourself in charge of a tiny army. You're awesome. Of course you are. Don't argue with me. That's it, huh? Yeah, we definitely need more power. That is one hungry little setup. So, it's all integrated now, though? Nanites and interface? That's good. They don't draw much power, though, right? If any. I mean, they were still pretty active when they were crawling around under my skin. And they had to be out there for a long time before I stumbled onto them. Like, years. Maybe they were getting some power from somewhere tiny, too. Hey, could they have been getting juice from the sun? I haven't found much in the way of solar tech around here, but maybe they have some feature that makes it possible. Yeah, I know, I'm speculating like mad. But you know me, I can't help it. Ooh, maybe they could actually generate power. Is that a thing? Can that sort of thing be done? If it can, we need to figure it out. They could be like a colony that's also a battery. One that's always replenishing itself. Can you imagine what we could do if that were possible? I know, I know. I'll reel myself in. We don't know much at all yet. I'll stop. I get it. Being able to communicate with them is the first step. Do you have some idea of what they can do yet? Anything at all? No, I mean in general. I guess I just want to know how useful they'll be in getting the ship to fly. Also, come to think of it, if they replicate themselves from surrounding materials, do we need to provide some materials for them? Or will they take what they need from the ship? Will that be a bad thing? Oh. Okay. Good to know. Seems like a good feature to disable, at least for now. This is weird, but I'm into it. Definitely. I think these little bugs will be really useful. Just as long as they stay out of my actual body. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, but you weren't the one staring down a feature as a cyborg. That was... scarier than I want to admit. Hey, I just had another thought. What are the chances of there being more nanites in the wreckage? How many of these things would have been on hand for the research they were doing? What about different kinds? Medical grade, biocompatible nanites, for example. Should I be looking for some of those? I was just thinking they might be good to have. We need all the help we can get, organic or otherwise. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out next time I'm over in that section. For now, let me get on that finding power thing. Yeah? You sure? You don't have to, you know. Well then, by all means, I would love the company. Come with me on my great adventure. Thrill as we walk through piles of station debris. 
marvel as we turn over lots of pieces of junk and find nothing. Be amazed as we come home exhausted and probably empty-handed. <laughs> I know, right? It's so exciting, I bet you can't contain yourself. Yeah, sure, that works. Let's bring this and this as well. Okay, I think I'm ready. We're leaving the nanites, right? Just checking. I figured they weren't much use without power to the interface, but you never know. Okay, great. They'll be fine in a little container. We can play with them more if we get a power cell or two in our hands. All right, we good? Great. Let's go. Be good, Spanner. We'll be back before supper. Hang on, I just need to grab... Did I just hear... Hey, can you come check the bugs, please? I thought I heard something. Yeah, it just... Sounded like a beep. Like, maybe the interface had a little power left in it? Think it's not quite shut down? You sure? Totally dead? Huh. Weird. No, I just... I guess I'm hallucinating beeps now. I really need to find some coffee. <laughs> it's amazing how important caffeine can be. <sighs> okay, let's head out and find some power and some coffee. Not sure which is more important right now, actually. You think? You might be right. After you. <laughs> 